So today what we're going to do is get WireGuard working on Open Media Ball as fast as possible. And when I mean as fast as possible, this will just take a few minutes. A special thank you to all my patrons who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today what we're going to be doing is installing WireGuard. And what we're going to be using is PyVPN, which is a script that not only works on the Raspberry Pi, but also works on Debian and Ubuntu machines. So Open Media Vault is Open Media Vault is Debian and it works no problem. So we'll show you that right now. So here you can see we're on a Intel Pentium machine. So the first thing we need to do is open up PuTTY and we need to log into our server as root if you're on x86 or Pi if you're on a Raspberry Pi. And then your password. And then we're going to go to the GitHub page of Pi VPN. We're going to scroll down, and this is actually just a one-line install. So copy that where it says method one. Paste that into PuTTY and then hit enter. And now it's time for a cup of coffee. Once that's loaded for a little while, you'll be taken to this. And you can see this. It says this install where it's transform your Raspberry Pi into OpenVPN or WireGuard server. It also works for x86, and as you remember, this is an x86 machine, so let's, I'll just show you it does. So hit enter here, and it says it needs a static IP address, so we're gonna hit enter. And our interface is, for me, ENP3S0 is our ethernet. And here you can see it says you're not using Raspberry, so it will not configure a static IP. Hit enter and then hit enter again. And so we just have one user, so we're gonna hit enter. Now we pick WireGuard, hit enter. Now it's going to start installing packages. Here we can modify the, so here we can modify the port that we need to forward, but this is actually a good reminder, we'll forward that port right now. So next we wanna copy our IP address. Paste that in there and take away any slashes or anything like that. And our port we need to forward is 51820. So we'll type in 51820, 51820, and it's UDP, and then click New, and then click Save. So now our port is saved. Let's just go back to make sure, there it is. So 51820, yes, it's the same, so we're going to click yes. And here you pick the DNS provider, pick whichever one you want. We'll just leave it at quad 9, click OK. If you have a public DNS, you can enter it here. We're just going to use our public IP address, click OK. And now it's going to make the server keys. And so this will do automatic updates, click OK. And yes. And now it's telling you how to add in uh, clients and it's PyVPN add, click OK. And then we're going to tab over to yes and then click OK or enter to reboot and then OK. So while it's doing that, you can download the WireGuard app for your phone because this is how we're gonna check it. So we're going to set up the WireGuard app on our phone take it out of Wi-Fi, just have it on cellular, and then connect to our network. We can log back into our server, go back to PuTTY, restart session, log in as root, and your password, hit enter. Now we type, type in PyVPN, hit enter. So this will give us the commands that we can use, and what we're gonna be doing is adding a user. So to add a user, we're going to type in pyvpn-a and then hit enter. So a name for our client is Jeff, hit enter. It creates our user. So for the next part, it will, we need a QR code for our phone app. 
And so what we do is type in, so what we need to do is type in pyvpn dash qr, hit enter. And then there's only one user, so one is for Jeff, hit enter. And that shows us our QR code. And so we're going to click on Add Tunnel, then uh, Create from QR Code. And then we're going to name this PyVPN. Click Save and Allow. So now our PyVPN is saved. And so all we need to do is activate it. And let's just make sure we're not on Wi-Fi here. No Wi-Fi. Good. We go to our web browser. So then we type in the local IP address of our server. And there you can see it's logged into our server. And then we can just log in and browse our server. If you have an iPhone, you can go to Files and you can actually add in your server this way. You click on the top corner, connect to server. There it is. We log in and there are the files on my server. So PyVPN with WireGuard, super simple way to access all the things on your server from anywhere in the world. Give it a try. And if you like this video today, make sure you like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.